Today I'm doing a review of the movie Malcolm and Marie, which recently premiered on Netflix. It stars Zendaya and John David Washington. The movie's in black and white. It's a romantic drama. It's about an hour and 40 minutes, and the whole film takes place over the course of one night, and there's only two characters in the whole movie, Malcolm and Marie. And basically the premise of the movie is that Malcolm has just wrote directed and premiered a movie to a limited audience including a bunch of critics and the movie was about a 20 year old drug addict and the critics loved the movie and so they're coming home from the premiere and he's elated he's so excited about all the great reviews and Marie is highly upset and it comes out over the course of an hour and a half of bickering we pretty much understand why she's so upset this was her story she was the 20 year old drug addict and he told her story for her but he didn't even bother to thank her when he was giving his thank yous to everyone who contributed to the film and all his loved ones including his parents he didn't bother to thank her even though she is his living girlfriend when writers and actors and producers are giving out thank yous and acknowledgements, they tend to acknowledge the people who contributed to the film and their loved ones in their lives. And she's both of those things and he didn't thank her. She helped him with the film. She was the inspiration behind the film. He literally wrote her suicide attempt into the movie. So you can't say that she wasn't the inspiration behind some parts of the film. She was the inspiration, but she also went through his first drafts and gave him notes, you know, telling him what he needed to change, what didn't work. And so she helped him make the film basically. And she's also a loved one. She lives with him. You know, she loves him. She cares for him. She supports him. She cooks for him. You know, she she's there for him on a daily basis. And he doesn't thank her for her contributions to his personal life or his professional life when it comes to this movie that he just premiered. And she went to the premiere with him. She was all dressed up. She looks great. And even though she was there at the premiere to support him, he, he didn't thank her. He thanked everybody else and didn't thank her for me. I felt like he didn't thank her on purpose because how do you leave her out? You literally have to go home with this woman tonight. <laughs> how do you leave her out? You literally wrote her suicide attempt into a movie that they just watched. How do you not thank her? So for me, I felt like he didn't thank her on purpose and I would have liked them to have explored that because there's no way he forgot to thank her. And then after the movie premiere, she had a bunch of people coming up to her you know, like the star of the movie and his family members saying, oh, don't feel bad that he didn't thank you. So everyone could see that she should have been thanked and she wasn't. And so for me, I felt like he did it on purpose and that there was maybe a deeper reason why he didn't thank her. And I would have liked them to have explored that, but they didn't. They didn't really, I would have liked him to have said, okay, you know, I did it on purpose. I didn't thank you and this is the reason why. But that never happened. And then it also came out that, you know, Marie, she's a struggling actress and she wanted to play that role. And this would have been her opportunity to tell her story. You know, she's got plenty of up emotions from that time when she was a drug addict. And if she could have acted it out, that could have been her outlet to get all those emotions out. But she couldn't do it you know he got someone else to play that part and so she's left with these feelings inside of her and she she doesn't have the outlet to to get the feelings out and he basically told her story and so now she can't tell her story because it's already been told and another woman has already acted it out so she's still left with these feelings and she has no outlet for them when acting considering that she is an actress, acting would have been her outlet for those emotions, but now there's just, they're still stuck inside of her. And basically she's feeling unappreciated. And I felt like this movie could have been over in five minutes if he would have just addressed her feelings of feeling unappreciated, if he would have just catered to her, her need and desire to feel appreciated 
then this movie could have been over in five minutes instead of them basically arguing for an hour and a half and him insulting her. He called her a mental patient. And this is a woman who's on antidepressants who had at least one suicide attempt, a woman who's a recovering drug addict. And he called her intolerable. He called her a mental patient. He said she has no standards as far as dating. He just kept insulting a woman who was clearly upset and clearly depressed. She looked like she was going to kill herself. And as a matter of fact, I thought that's how the movie was going to end. I thought she was going to commit suicide or relapse. <laughs> that's especially when she kept disappearing. I'm like, oh, she killed herself. <laughs> but that didn't happen. And I'm surprised it didn't the way he kept insulting her and making her feel bad and he's bragging about his sexual exploits in that scene when she was in the bathtub and she looked like she was on the verge of killing herself and he starts talking about all his sexual exploits and the women that he slept with and strippers and his ex-girlfriends and how they were so much better basically than her and and how you know he should have thanked his ex-girlfriends and basically how she didn't deserve a thank you and I'm like dude is all this unnecessary like he was being cruel he was being downright cruel to her to a woman who was already depressed he was very emotionally abusive to her as a matter of fact she she called him an emotional terrorist she said he was emotionally abusive she basically said it in so many different ways that he was emotionally abusive to her he she even said at one point can I ask you a question without you making me feel like crap? Like she said in so many different ways that he was emotionally abusive to her. And in the end, she stayed with him. At the end of the movie, they were just still together. <laughs> like I was expecting, like I said, I was expecting her to kill herself. I was expecting her to relapse. But in the end, no, nope, they just stayed together at the end of the movie. They're outside of the house standing together. And I guess we're supposed to assume that they lived unhappily ever after <laughs> and I'm like that's it that's the whole movie like I needed more than that I was looking for some sort of a message there was no mess I'm like what exactly is the message here that we should endure toxic relationships that we should endure emotional abuse because after all of that she stayed and she even said like why am I still with you why do I put up with this but in the end she stayed <laughs> She stayed. But um, what I felt like was left out of the movie was I would have liked to have known more about Marie's background, like what led her to get into drug abuse, what was her rock bottom, you know, how hard it was for her to get clean, when she turned things around, how long she's been clean, how hard it is to stay clean when you're with an emotionally abusive man. I think they could have explored that. She could have talked about how difficult it is for her not to relapse when she's with a man who isn't giving her what she needs emotionally. And I would have also liked them to have talked about um, why he didn't thank her. Like maybe he was still upset with her about some things that happened in the past and that's why he purposely didn't thank her. I felt like they could have gone deeper because it seemed like a movie that was trying to be deep, but in the end, I couldn't find a message behind any of this. The only message I walked away with was how much a man is willing to put up with for a good looking woman. That's what I walked away from because... She, he put up with a lot. When he met her, she was a drug addict. He had to check her into rehab. She had to go on antidepressants. She was cheating on him, sleeping with other, at least one other man. He caught her cheating when she, she was sleeping with someone else. Um, she was on some kind of medication where she couldn't have sex for half a year. And he put up with all of this and I'm like see this is what a man will put up with for a good looking young woman that was my takeaway like all the things that a man will put up with for a good looking woman because I don't think he did it just because he was so in love with her like if he was just this teddy bear with this warm heart then he wouldn't have spent an hour and a half insulting her and belittling her contributions to his life. Like, I don't believe he's just this kind-hearted person, not when he's bragging about his sexual exploits and making her feel like crap and being emotionally abusive to her. So I don't 
believe he's just this kind hearted person who helped this drug addict because he's just got this big heart. I don't buy that because his actions don't really depict him as this kind hearted man. So I walked away from it thinking, oh, he's basically put up with all he's putting up with all this because she's good looking and young. <laughs> so that's basically the message I walked away from this with, like what a man will put up with for a young hot woman. But other than that, I couldn't find any message here. It seems like we're just teaching women to put up with toxic relationships and emotional abuse. That's the only thing I came away from it with. And the tagline of this movie was madly in love. And I'm like, where? Where's the love? Is this what love looks like in 2021? Because it does not look appealing at all. And I would have... <sighs> I would have liked some sort of a message from this movie. I realize not, not every movie has to have a message, but this is a movie that seemed like it was trying to be so deep. And no matter how much I dug, I couldn't find a message in this movie. And I think it, there could have been a message if they would have explored her drug use a little bit more. And you know, their relationship dynamic following the drug use and how hard it is to love someone who is a recovering drug addict. There could have been a message here, but it just, in the end, there was no message. It, it was just put up with toxic relationships. That's it. That's That was the takeaway. Just endure pain and emotional abuse. But in the end, I felt like this movie... I would probably give this movie like a three and a half out of 10. Um, the imagery was beautiful. It was beautifully shot. I thought the acting was really good, but as far as the script, it was lacking. So this isn't exactly a movie that I would recommend to anyone unless they're doing a case study on bad relationships. <laughs> Other than that, I wouldn't really recommend this movie to anyone, but um, that was my takeaway from this movie.